the scholars of Islam, they mention 10 things in general. The first thing that they mention is Tawbah, repentance. So they say before the month of Ramadan enters, the servant should try his utmost best to engage in much repentance. So when the month of Ramadan does come and the doors of Jannah are open and the doors of Jahannam are closed and the shayateen are shakud, he doesn't need to f focus and worry about being forgiven because he's already been forgiven. So it's as if you come into the month of Ramadan saying, Oh Allah, I have sought repentance and forgiveness before this month, beforehand. Now that the doors of Jannah are open, Oh Allah, make these doors open for me. Make me the one who enters into them for all of my sins have been forgiven. Hopefully by your mercy and your virtue. So uh, the individual to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Tawbah. Uh, think about it like this as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from all of creation. He's self-sufficient. He's exalted above everybody. He's greater than everybody. He doesn't need anyone, right? So naturally you won't um, expect the creator to say, I need this or I wish this or I, etc. Because Allah Jalla wa'ala doesn't need anybody. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the things that he, he says that I want to do this is I want to accept your repentance. I wish for you to repent so I may accept your repentance. And the Prophet sallallahu wasallam, he swore and he said that if you were not to sin and you were not to seek repentance after you sin, لَذَهَبَ اللَّهُ بِكُمْ Allah will do away with all of you. وَلَجَاءَ بِقَوْمٍ He will bring a brand new nation and new people. يُذْنِبُونَ They will sin. فَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ اللَّهُ فَيَغْفِرُ لَهُمْ Then they will seek forgiveness. They will repent to Allah and Allah will forgive them. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes to do for us. It is a great privilege and a great opportunity that we have.